Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Mezog V, and today we are doing yet another Jurassic World Chaos Theory figure review. So if you remember in my last video, we looked over the Darius figure pack. This video, we will be looking at the next figure in this line, the Yaz and Monolophosaurus figure pack. Alright, so when looking at the box, as you can see, it's just like the other figure packs. You of course got Darius, Battle Big Rock Alpsaurus, Trust Girl Chaos Theory, Epic Evolution. The background consists of a highway, at dusk slash dawn, Jurassic World logo. Looking at the side of the box, you have Jurassic World Chaos Theory, an advertisement for Darius and Kenji. The diorama of Yaz and the Monolophosaurus, which as you can see, her backpack can indeed open up and house the injured compi. The other side of the packaging consists of Jurassic World Cassidy written in text, and of course since these figures are exclusive to Universal Studios at the moment, you are looking at a $22 price tag. However, if you are a Universal Studios member, then you'll get a discount which will drop the price to $15, which is what I personally paid for them. So when looking at the figure already, something I noticed that's kind of strange about this is that if you think about it, we've already gotten the two other Monophys Saurus variants from Camp Cretaceous. Obviously we got the gray one and the orange one. And now finally, of course, we have the green one, which is the one that we are missing, aka the main one. However, if you look at the render, as you can see, it's obviously a green color, just like the show. However, when looking at the final figure, for some reason they made it more of like a swampy grayish green color. As for why they made it more gray and more inaccurate, beats me, but I just found that interesting. Alright, but without further ado, let's get this out of the packaging. And here is the Yaz and Monolophosaurus set out of the box. So, as you can see, it obviously comes with a Monolophosaurus, a brown compi, a backpack, and of course, Yasmina. So, starting off with, of course, Yasmina. As you can see, her design is, unlike uh, the previous video where we looked at Darius, Yasmina's design obviously looks a lot different from the previous Yasmina. And in fact, when comparing the two, as you can see, the grown-up Yasmina is obviously a lot taller. And the whole design in general is just a lot different, which is actually a really nice change of pace. Looking at the adult Yasmina, as you can see, her hair is more of a black color compared to the brown color. She doesn't have the ponytail, but more of like a bun. For her jacket, she has a brown, very soft plastic jacket, which can easily be flexible. She has a purple and white striped shirt. Going down to the jeans, or pants, I don't know what these would be called, <laughs> but as you can see, they are, they, they consist of a tan pigment plastic, but then they also paint the legs and paint the shoes. And overall though, a very nice looking figure. And of course, as for articulation, it is exactly the same as every other mainline Jurassic World human figure. However, there is one difference between this figure and every other Jurassic World figure we got. And interestingly enough, that is, if you look at the hinges of the figure, obviously they all consist of the normal hinge, which contains a piece of plastic that goes for a loop, and it just rides on that loop. Just like every other Jurassic World figure. With Yasmina on the hand, this figure, I don't know why they made this different, but they did. And that is, of course, they have the normal hinges in all the normal areas. But with the hips, as you can see, they actually use, it's kind of hard to focus, but as you can see, they use a ball joint. And as for a closer look, you can actually see that the ball joint has a whole bunch of grooves on it to use for the articulation of the leg. I don't know why they made that change, but it is very interesting. And of course, it is quite easy just to pop right back in. Alright, so real quick, I just want to mention some complaints I do have of the set though. So far is that obviously the Yasmina figure, her arms cannot really 
fold down so they're constantly in like more of a I guess like a I, I don't I don't know what to say this for this position but she's kind of more of like a stance position you can't really move her arms down and unfortunately I think it might be because of the jacket I'm not entirely for sure but yeah that is one problem and also another problem is that Yasmina she has a really hard time standing um you have to really like be delicate with her because like just the slightest movement like I actually had to take quite a few um, retakes of clips because she just kept falling down so that is another problem with this figure all right so that's for Yasmina's accessories as you can see she only comes with one accessory and that is this canvas backpack and just like the Darius that we looked at in the previous video this one can indeed also open granted it is a little weird how it's a canvas backpack with a flap so normally this would go up but instead they just had it go all the way down but besides that really nice looking backpack unfortunately as far as i know this backpack does not show up in the show so if you want interestingly enough this can actually also be used as ellie sattler's backpack or sarah harding's backpack because they both have canvas backpacks so that could be great for like photography or you know if you want to like make your characters more accurate this would be a great accessory for those two figures of course in order to put on the backpack on yasmina just like the darius set there is indeed a plug that can unplug there then you just simply put the arm through the loop and put this loop for the arm and then you're supposed to just plug it in just like so a little tricky when you do off camera there we go so you just plug it in and there you go now you have yasmina with a backpack on all right so next up in the set we have the brown compi so this is actually a very unique figure because normally the compies are obviously you know one of like four poses as i believe However, this is a completely new pose, and it's actually a really unique figure considering the fact it has a bandage sculpted on, and it also comes with a cone, um, which interesting enough, you can indeed remove if you want to. But, of course, you slip it all back on, you just slip it for the head. Oh wait, <laughs> and of course, okay. So yeah, you just slip it back on the head. It's very easy to take on and off, and a really nice looking figure. And of course, something that's unique about this figure as well is the fact that normally, of course, we get green compies because that's like the main type of compie that we see in the movies. However, this one is obviously brown, just like the supposed female variants from the Lost World Jurassic Park. Of course, with the compie, just open it up, put the compie inside, and there you go. You have Gasmina with a compie in her backpack. All right, now looking at the Monolophosaurus. So, of course, you know, at first glance, the huge problem with the Monolophosaurus is the fact that clearly the paint job on the final version is different than the paint job on the uh, packaging. As you can see, it's obviously supposed to be green and red, just like the, uh, the main one that we see in the show. But unfortunately, it is more of a grayish swamp green color, which, it's a little unfortunate, but at least we finally got the green Monolophosaurus variant. So looking at the paint job and sculpting, as you can see, the sculpting is alright. Unfortunately, they did like retool an older Monolophosaurus figure that they used to make it look a little bit more accurate to the one in Camp Cretaceous. So because of that, unfortunately, the teeth are very big and like goofy looking but yet the ones on the bottom are very like more smaller and more natural as you can see you got the red going on the eye and the crest unfortunately the red on the head the it's not paint it's just printed on unfortunately which kind of gives it more of like a hazy look especially in the front same thing same thing for the eyes the eyes are also painted on as well as you can see the jaw is a little bit lighter color which is nice going down the head it has a little bit more of like a uh, 
angled, I guess, shape to the neck, which is actually very nice because it does look like that in the show. Moving down to the body, as you can see, there's no paint on the neck, but there is a little bit of paint on the body, which you can see there's some white striping on the body. You got a big old clump right here and a little bit on the, uh, the butt of the figure. Luckily, this is indeed paint and not printed on, so it looks a little bit more nicer and natural. And moving down to the tail, unfortunately the tail is kind of stumpy, it's not very long, it's very short, but as you can see, it has very decent looking sculpting. The legs, of course, there is absolutely no paint on them, nor is there any paint or gloss on the claws or toe claws. But overall though, the sculpting is very decent. Unfortunately though, I will admit the feet are very big though. Alright, so now as for articulation, starting off with the head, the jaw can open and close, just like all the previous Monolith Source figures. The head can swivel and go up and down. Moving down to the arms, of course the arms can move back and they can move forth. Same thing with the other side. The legs can also do the same. So, a very like middle ground range of articulation with this figure. Of course, there's not too much articulation with it, considering the fact that it's part of a dual pack. So, usually with figures with, that are part of the dual packs, they have to get the budget to meet the figure and the other figure. So, you're not going to find too much out of this figure, but at least it's not a statue. Alright, but besides that, this was the Jurassic World Chaos Series Yasmina and Monolophosaurus set. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It would really help me. I'd really appreciate it. And of course, also, if you're new, please consider subscribing. That would also really help me as it would help boost my channel and make a lot better content. But besides that, what do you guys think of this figure? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What would you change about it? Tell me in comments below. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.